Okay guys, so today I'm actually going to be launching a bit of a scientific investigation to do with crested geckos. So if you're a crested owner, please watch this video to the end and you'll see what I'm talking about and you could potentially take part in this. So let's get straight into the video. So any of my long term viewers or even people that have just watched maybe one of my other videos will probably know that I do tend to champion Arcadia products because, well I won't go into it now but basically they're all very good and these are all the sort of bagged products that I've got from them and all the stuff on the left is exclusively for my Crested Gecko. Now going from left to right here you can see that I've got Arcadia Omni Gold, Arcadia Insecti Gold, Arcadia Sticky Foot Gold, Arcadia Repti Gold and Arcadia Fruity Insect Gold. Now of these, Sticky Foot Gold, the one directly in the middle, is the main diet for Crested Geckos, which I use virtually on a daily basis. Uh, the two at the end here, they are sort of more meant for other reptiles, but I do use them occasionally. Um, and the two on the end here, these are just treats. Now there is something actually quite interesting that I and other people have noted with these. And that is that it seems to be that crested geckos won't tend to eat any of these things right off the bat or unless they're mixed with something else. So I was sort of wondering why this is because they're all made with fantastic products and I use them and when my crested gecko does eat them he's got like a fantastic growth rate and all that. But I was sort of looking into why it is and I thought this was just with my gecko but it seems to be that these do tend to have a higher insect content than other products and for some reason my crested gecko didn't want to eat them that much. Even though if you've seen in some of my other videos my crested gecko does go absolutely mad for live insects. So let's take a look at the ingredients. In the sticky foot gold, you can see the insect meal made up of mealworm, beetle, silkworm, black soldier fly larvae and cricket is the second most common ingredient in this. You can see that black soldier fly larvae are the number one ingredient in insecti gold and that a whole lot of the ingredients in omni gold are very high protein things like poultry meal, but there's also beetles I can see in there, um, egg, silkworm, things like that, that are all sort of very similar to insect meal. Now each of these things I have definitely got my crested gecko to eat, but he won't eat them pure, especially not the insecty and omnigold things. He likes to have those sort of added to his main diet, which is mostly this. And I did actually have to wean him on to the sticky foot gold from a previous diet he was on. And I thought that was him just being picky. But I was having a recent conversation with someone that I'll talk about in a minute that does seem to suggest otherwise. But one thing I have noticed is that I do get a better feeding response when I add Repti Gold. Now Repti Gold, if we take a look on the back, doesn't have much in the way of insects in it. It's basically just different fruits as well as honey and coconut milk. It's meant to be like a shot essentially that you add to the food and when I do this I do seem to get a better feeding response out of my gecko. Just as an example I got sent this by Arcadia to review with the jelly pop kit. I'll leave a little link to that video in a card right now. But I couldn't get my Crested Gecko to eat this at all until the other day I tried putting Repti Gold in it and he did eat a bit of it. Now obviously as you can tell I do really like these products and that's why I've got so many of them from this brand. But I was thinking that my Crested Gecko was just being a bit fussy until I had a conversation with someone. So the other day in the comment section I was conversing with Andrew Wood about his Crested Gecko eating these products and it seems to be that he's in a very similar situation where his crested gecko wasn't eating these things until he actually mixed it with higher fruit content stuff. 
Now it was eating the jelly pop mixes apart from fruity insect gold which I do think is the one with the highest insect content and um, sticky foot gold it wasn't eating until he mixed it with his Crested Gecko's old food. So what I'm proposing is that perhaps Crested Geckos are either pickier than we think or they don't seem to like um, insect meal powder. So this is where you could help. So if you are a Crested Gecko owner, you could do me a favour in a, leaving a comment telling me which of these products your Crested Gecko will eat and under what circumstances. So for example, will they eat sticky foot gold straight off? Will they completely refuse it? Or will they have it if it's mixed in with some old stuff and then they'll be weaned onto it? The same goes with these two products. Will your Crested Gecko eat either of these straight off, just plain? Will they eat it and then like refuse it? That's what my Crested Gecko sort of did when I tried that. Or will they have it mixed in with something else, which is how my Crested Gecko likes them. With the jelly mixes, which one of these will your Crested Gecko eat? And specifically which one, because there are different flavours of this and it seems to be that the one that's the highest in insect matter is the one that Crested Geckos don't eat but this is just out of two Crested Geckos it might just be that both of them are particularly fussy or something so let me know that down in a comment and finally if you add Reptigold do like me you see an increased appetite now of course I know that not everybody uses these products because they are relatively new and they do sort of require you to go bioactive or at least use UVB lighting which not everybody's doing yet although I think they will be in the future or hopefully they will be but if you do use any other products and you have varying feeding responses then please leave the names of them and whether they're high in insects down in the comments and what your Crested Gecko's response is to them. So once we have all this information I think it'll be interesting to see whether Crested Geckos do just dislike sort of dead insects being added to foods and then if we find out this information it will allow us in the future to make Crested Gecko diets that cater more to this and I have a feeling that it's probably going to show that we ought to feed more live insects rather than relying on powders to compensate for insects really but it could show something else so if you leave this information in the comments then hopefully we'll find something out and it'll be a good bit of interest in science. So if you are interested in taking part, as I've said, just leave a little bit of information in a comment down below, specifically the name of the product you're using, whether it's high in insects, if it's not one of these because I might not know, but that should be quite simple and then we can get some good data and I'll come back to this in a few weeks and I'll talk about the results. So I hope you did enjoy this video and I look forward to seeing what the results are. I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.